guys ready for the ultimate Peaky Blinders reaction, man? Season 4, episode 5? No, season 4, episode 4 is here today. We all know what goes down, man. The biggest thing of last episode that went down was Polly making a deal with Luca. I did not see that coming. But she's basically letting him know to um, spear her son. This basically, she's giving up Tommy to save the rest of the family, which I don't think is cool. I don't know if Tommy's going to find out about it. Probably not. But they're probably going to try. Um, uh, I don't know if Luca is going to take her up on this or is he going to still kill the whole family? You know, I don't know. Obviously, it seems like Polly and Luca has a history, um, which that came as a shock too. Um, so it's just some weird stuff. This <laughs> that last episode, there was so much going on in it. I'm glad that Arthur has decided to give up. Um, at the same time, at the same time, you know, I kind of feel like they need him in the fight. But he says to leave it up to Mr. Gold. So Ab Abrame, Abrame Gold. That's his name, right? Abrame Gold, dude, little finger. <laughs> right? So guess we're going to get some further details on some of the um, things that are going on right now. But this episode, this this season is set, shaping up to be really good. I like, I, um, somebody was expressing in there, in the comment section saying that, um, that the guy that plays Luca is such a good actor, he should have made a character his own. Um, he just sounds like the typical uh, Martin Brando from The Godfather. Um, for uh, I don't know, I don't know what to say. I'm just saying he he's doing the part really well. So in some ways, I agree with um, the comment, but at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, disagreeing with some parts of it because sometimes, even if he's doing that part really, if he's doing a great job of, you know, when anybody is trying to play a Italian gangster, that's the performance they, they go to for reference. You get what I'm saying? That classic Godfather, um, Godfather um acting right whether it be Al Pacino whether whether it be Al Pacino may be Mar Brando whoever it is okay that's the typical because everybody knows that those performances were legendary even um what's his name Garcia what's his name again um Garcia the one that played Pacino's son man um I can never remember his name. I know it's Garcia something. <laughs> you guys will let me know. <laughs> I can never remember his name. One of my favorite actors, too. Um, he was in one of the Oceans movies. I think it was a, I think he was in Oceans 12, I think. Um, pretty cool, dude. Pretty cool, dude. Um, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like, most people, when you're thinking about Italian gangs so that those are the performances that they reference to so who knows you know what I'm saying like it's not easy to to um to make the you know what I'm saying like we don't want another Sabini like you know when you think about an Italian gangster and that's what I'm saying like when you think about an Italian gangster you think of those performances so it's like it's not meant it's not many people that play Italian gangsters that you can say, okay, that performance, they took it and make it their own. It's not a lot of them out there. So uh, we, we ain't going to talk about the Sopranos. Like they, you know what I'm saying? Like, even though I didn't even watch the entire Soprano series, like, you know, at the same time, you know what I'm saying? I didn't watch the entire thing, but I do know they're not your typical Italian gangsters. They were they were Italian, but you know what I'm saying? Like maybe that's the performance that he was like, okay, he took it. He made it his own. Right. So let's jump into this episode, man. Um, I'm curious to see 
what's going to take place, what is going to be the aftermath of Arthur basically stepping down, if Tommy is going to find out about the situation or basically that party is making this deal. Um, so, and Ada is becoming my my favorite character t next to Tommy. I'm be honest right now. Like, Ada has really stepped up this season. Never expected her for them to write her like this in this season because they've always write her like a like a throwaway character you know what i'm saying like she's just there because she's family you know what i'm saying but this season they have really really wrote her into the story like a boss All right, guys, let's talk about it. That was more of a slower paced episode, of course. Ne definitely a setup episode um, of what's to come, obviously. The setup for, for um, um, of Polly's basically setting up Tommy. I do not, I, I really, I, I'm not going to believe that Polly is going to go through with this. Like, I, I'm still on the fence about it because I really don't think that Polly is that type of person. This has to be something where she's going to either um, let him know at the last minute or... I don't know, man, but I just don't feel like Polly is going to go through with this. I, I, I don't understand because she knows that Tommy, you know... I. I mean, what Tommy did to them last season, I can totally understand why you have a grievance. But it's, you know what I'm saying? You're alive, you know what I'm saying? And plus, he was trying to get you get them out. So, it wasn't like he was just sitting on his hand while his people was rotting in jail. Like, he was trying to get them off. Um, just so that they, you know, they were basically, their execution was moved up. Um, and, you know, they he came through at the last minute. But... I understand, man. Um, the lady that lost her son, I think it was back in season one, um, that Arthur killed her son, you know, beat his son in the ring to death. Um, so she has her reasons for hating Arthur, of course, setting him, you know, using him as a diversion um, for them to get to Michael was pretty, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was good strategy on their part. Um, Mr. Gold had a chance to take Luca out. They missed. Of course they missed. I mean, it's the fourth episode. We don't expect... I would not expect them to kill Luca in the fourth, fourth episode, so I expected them to escape. There's certain things about plots and stuff like that that you just know just not going to happen. So there's no need for surprise and stuff like that. Like, you know, some people be reacting to stuff. They be like, oh, my God, no, they're going to kill Luca. No, dude. They're not going to kill Luca in episode four of season four. Like, he's too good of a character right now. And his storyline is, he's the final boss. Why would they kill him halfway through the season? Makes no sense. Okay, so definitely, definitely, man, this this um, this episode was definitely slower paced. You know, as I said before, um, it's a nice little setup episode going to the final two episodes of the season. So, as I said, man, Ada, 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 Ada. I'm an Ada fan for this season. She is the best part of this season so far. Some of you guys might disagree, but she went from bottom tier to top tier in these four episodes. Like, I love every scene that she's in because she's finally, finally become a Shelby and showing who she is as a Shelby, and I'm digging it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So she's definitely her, not necessarily her performance, but her character growth in this season, the way they're writing her for this season is just absolutely unbelievable, unexpected, to be honest. So that's why I love her character so much this season, and she's definitely number one on the list this season, as in characters, my favorite characters of the season so far. So Tommy's gonna be Tommy, Arthur's gonna be Arthur. Arthur's arc this season, eh, you know, is there too. I like I like his arc 
you know what I'm saying? Him, you know, giving up the bullet, you know, that, that was pretty cool. So I don't, this situation with, uh, miss, what's her name? Miss, miss Carlton. I think it's Carlton. Her name is, she came, came back this episode. Always good to see her on screen. She and Tommy has this kind of relationship where Tommy doesn't want to be tied down. The only woman, I think somebody needs to tell Lizzie this. The only woman Tommy ever loved was Grace. I need you guys, all you other women out there, to get that in your head. He's never going to be exclusive to another woman ever again. Okay? That was the love of his life. I don't think anybody comes close to that chemistry. None. None of y'all. None of y'all. Get off. Get off. Get off. Leave my boy Tommy alone. Um, because I'm not saying he don't he don't need some loving in his life, but that's the reason um Lizzie thought she she was getting that exclusive D, but nah. She was trying to defend her man, trying to tell Miss Carlton, hey, he with me because of what happened last episode, but um Tommy wasn't having that. Tommy must have asked her like four times to leave the room and she didn't get the hint. She just stuck stuck in there. Um, if she's pregnant, it's definitely Tommy's baby. Um, so we're definitely seeing where that, where, where that is going to go. I'm kind of surprised that Michael did not tell Tommy what's good about, you know, about the threat on his life and that Polly is behind it. I'm really surprised that he didn't tell Tommy. Um, so there's that going on. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode and coming through to check it out, man. Um, the first episode lost, I mean, in the first part, um, of recording, um, the camera went out, so I had to stop and fix it. So there's going to be three parts for this episode of, of course, first one is not going to be so big, um, of course, but we're still here. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this with me, man. Highly appreciate that if you guys subscribe. If you have not subscribed, stop watching my videos and then subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. And also leave a like on the video, man. We're shooting for, for 20 likes on this video. If you watch a video, just like the video, man. And also leave a comment in the comment section. I implore you guys to leave comments, man. Leave comments. Interaction on my videos is very important, okay? Thank you guys so much for doing that. And also... Just remember, you're a terror squad. I am Mr. Terabyte Reacts, and I will see you guys next time for some more Peaky Blinders. Peace.